I'm going to show you how to get started with AppMap Navi in your code editor. AppMap Navi is the first AI code architect that has the context to understand how your application works at runtime. It uses AppMap data to be able to feed information about how your code works to the AI code architect, which gives you much higher quality answers to your code related questions. Let's dive in and show you a little bit how it works. When getting started, you can either create app map data or just start chatting with Navi directly. I don't need app map data to chat with Navi and I can pass different commands using the at symbol for explain or diagram plan and others. The default mode is explain. So I'll use that now to just ask a question for it to explain how this application uh, displays products to my users. AppMap will analyze my code, filling the context window with code snippets that are related to that question. So without AppMap data, we'll statically analyze your code base and use it to help answer those questions. Today, I'm gonna to use AppMap Navi to help me solve this GitHub issue. I'll have it plan a solution, generate the code, the test cases, and help me diagram the logic of these changes. To improve the quality of answers from AppMap Navi, we're gonna generate some AppMap data for this issue. We can use the observe command to have Navi help guide us on which existing tests might interact with this code path. And the AI will give us insight to add the app map library to our Python project. So we'll follow the steps to add app map to this project, and then we'll run our project with app map enabled. So to do that, I'll run the app map Python command with the same command that I would use to uh, run my application normally. I could do this locally in dev, test, UA, in any environment. I'll navigate to my application. And from here, I'm gonna just follow the steps that were in the issue on recreating this problem. You can see here, I've created some offers and some vouchers, just like the issue had detailed. Now I'm gonna to go to my basket and to recreate this issue, I'm gonna enter in the voucher codes in different orders. In this case, voucher B, which will give 50% off and voucher A, which gives another 50% off. This is actually a bug in the code because they're exclusive offers. They both should not happen. So you can see our map data is now created, giving us insight into the full sequence diagrams from API to the database of what's happening. Now let's go back to our GitHub issue and we'll copy the full text of the issue summary and the steps to reproduce so that we can paste it into AppMap Navi for the planning step. We can now head back to AppMap Navi inside of our code editor and we can use the at plan command and paste in the content of the GitHub issue. We'll send this message to AppMap Navi where it will analyze our project and our app map data, sequence diagrams, data flows, and code snippets in order to power a highly accurate response from the AI. We can review the output of this plan and we can converse with the AI to improve the plan if needed. And when we're happy with this plan, we can move on to the next step. With the plan solidified, we can now use the at generate command in AppMap Navi, which will focus the AI efforts into code generation. By asking it to generate this code, AppMap Navi will respond with the specific code changes for the specific files that align with the plan that was defined earlier. With our updated code inserted to files across our code base, we can have AppMap Navi generate a complete set of updated test cases, which tests this fixed functionality. Navi will respond with a updated set of test cases for this code. We can then use the insert command to insert this code, the updated test cases directly into the test case file so that we can save this to our Git repository. With the updated test cases saved, we can use our existing testing framework to run the updated test suite. You'll see that each of these test cases pass successfully against the updated code bases in place. With our test cases passing for this project, 
We'll now run the application to confirm the updated functionality works as expected. We'll return back to the application and enter in the voucher codes in the same order as before. When doing so, and entering the second voucher, which previously gave us another discount, you'll see that this is no longer valid because they are actively exclusive vouchers. With our code changes and testing complete, we can ask Navi to diagram this updated logic in this code base. Navi will create a mermaid supported diagram, which you can use to save to your documentation system, to share with your engineers, or simply open in your code editor to view this updated logic for your code base.